Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So on this video, we're going to talk about iPhone settings you need to turn off now. So for the first one, I'm currently in settings, look for the one that says privacy and security. Now once you're in here, just simply click on it and look for the one that says analytics. Should be this one right here. Scroll all the way down, click analytics and improvements. So what is basically analytics and improvements? So if I click on analytics data, this is everything you're doing for the past few hours, past few minutes even, or let's just say past few seconds. So that data right there is pretty important. That's why everything in here is going to be turned off. By default, some of them are going to be enabled on your end, so I suggest everything from top to bottom turned off. Alright? Next up, same drill under privacy and security, look for the one that says Apple Advertising. What it does is basically gives you information, your most liked pages, your interested pins, YouTube videos, TikTok videos, and the works, and send them to Apple and for other e-commerce services. That way, Facebook knows or TikTok or Instagram knows which kinds of advertisements gives to your timeline, your profile, or your feed. You'll notice that when you're using Facebook, Instagram will follow their advertisements. When you're using Instagram, Facebook will sometimes follow the advertisements, even Chrome. This is where it comes with it. So I always disable that one right there. So for the second one or the next uh, settings that I need to turn off, it should be around still going to be privacy and security. Look for the one that says location services. By default, you can customize which kinds of applications that you want your locations to be enabled. For example, under Facebook, I only enable this one while using the app. And then those are just going to be depending on your preferences. By the way, those gray arrow means you're not using this one for the last 24 hours. For the purple or violet arrow or pink, this has been used for the last 24 hours. Now the big deal here is going to be system services. And then you're going to select everything here. For example, I only select the ones that are really needed. So please remove the one that you don't only use. The big catch here is going to be here. Significant locations. As you can see, it still has a password and some face ID. Because what it does is, if this is enabled, as you can see right here, allows your iPhone and iCloud connected devices to learn pieces or places significance to you in order to provide useful location-based information to maps, calendar, photos, and the works. So that's really weird and I want my information to be private. So I cleared this browser history and turned that off. Now next up, if you're using Safari or Google Chrome, this is basically the same thing. And now just simply go to applications first. So you can look up, of course, Safari or Google Chrome. I'm going to look for Safari here because I always use Safari. Now once you're inside Safari, look on the bottom section, the one that's under privacy and security. Now just choose or copy the ones I have here. For example, prevent cross-site tracking, and then highlights not secure, connection warning, and fraudulent website warning, these are all enabled. That's going to be depending on my preference. And then I disable this one right here. I'm going to also enable highlights for this one. Now once I'm done with that one, I'm going to go back on settings, go to general right now, like so, and look for the one that says background refreshes. Now, why am I teaching to this one? Now, are you worried that sometimes your Apple battery, your iPhone battery really goes down quickly? This is going to be the culprit. Because what it does is, it gives the application some authority to run on your background without even using it. And that drains battery. So I always turn this off. Say so not about that one. Background app refreshes should always be turned off to keep your battery in a healthy condition. Now, for the last thing that we're going to teach you is go back again on applications. Now, this also works both on Mail and then Gmail. I'm gonna go for mail. Now under mail, go to mail accounts, and you'll see right here. First thing I'm gonna do is on push new data, I'm gonna enable or sorry, disable push. And then for the accounts right here, I'm gonna make sure this are manual. Everything should be manual. So I'm gonna have the authority to change them. It will pass by me first. Same goes with this one manually, remove that push, and you'll be good to go. If you're using Gmail, it's the same drill do this one on the gmail basically that's it so thank you so much for watching please hit the like button subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one goodbye for now